Recently, I reviewed the Kapamoka pour-over coffee-making device from the company Wakeko. And during the video, I mentioned I had yet another coffee-making device from Wakeko. And this is it, the Mini Presso NS2. If you're interested in finding what this little device is all about, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank Wakeko for sending out the Mini Presso NS2 coffee maker so that I could share it with you. So um, I am going to talk a little bit about this device in terms of what exactly it is and how it works, and I'll give you the specifications. But before I do that, let me just focus in on it so I can show you some of its key features, go over its specifications, and of course, what it came with. All right, just before I go into any details about the Mini Presso NS2 from Wakeco, I think it's only fair I tell you what it is. It's an espresso maker, a small, portable, manually operated, meaning no batteries, espresso maker. And it uses the Nespresso pods like this to make coffee. I'll talk more about that in a moment. Yeah, that's what this is. It's an espresso maker. Very small, very compact, and makes it actually a nice little cup of coffee. I point that out to begin with because I know espresso is not everybody's favorite thing. It's and off, actually it's quite hard to make in the woods unless you have a device like this. So yeah, that's what this is all about. All right, now let me just show you what it came with. I'll go over the specification. I am going to describe its operation, but of course I will be making coffee in it. All right, to begin, the Mini Presso did come with a stuff sack, and and I know that was one of my comments about the cup of mochas that didn't have one. I had to supply my own. The Mini Presso actually has one, which is kind of nice. So I'll show you what else would have come with this. Now I have, this is the manual. Again, another quite detailed manual, multiple languages and warranty. By the way, there's a one year warranty on this device and all the information on how to activate your warranty is on the back of that. I just have it in a little plastic bag for storage. And there's also this little brush just for cleaning. It's just a little tiny brush there. The rest of the, uh, components of this are all contained within it. So to begin with, there is a small drinking cup. So this is kind of protects the end of the unit to keep any dirt from getting up inside the operation of it. But it's also, you can make your coffee right into this. Yes, it is small and that's because espressos are small. I'm gonna put that aside. I won't be using that today. I have something else I wanna make the coffee in. Inside is where the business end of this goes, or I guess where the water reservoir goes. But inside the water reservoir, is a little device. Now, this is similar to what was provided with the cup of mocha. It's just a little disc that would go on your counter at home so that when you're preparing your coffee and pouring your water into the top, that it has somewhere to sit. And when you're finished with this, just in case there's a couple of drips coming out at the end of it, again, it could just sit on this on your counter. I probably won't be bringing this out in the woods, but uh, it's easy. It really doesn't weigh anything and it stores down inside there just nicely. The operation of this is actually very, very simple. Take the end off of it, and this is where the Nespresso capsule will go. And I'll just grab that capsule, and we'll probably we'll put it in right now, and then I won't have to do it again later. So the Nespresso, Nespresso capsule goes inside here. When I put this in, down inside, the, you can probably see the stainless steel. They're like teeth or little spikes. And they're going to pierce the end of this little capsule. That's so water can enter the capsule and build up pressure. At the same time, at some point, that pressure is going to get so great that it's actually going to burst through the thin aluminum on the end of it. And it will do so against this little corrugated uh I don't know what you call it. I guess that's exactly what it's intended to push against that, and that's when it will the coffee will start to erupt into the chamber. So all you do is push it down inside, screw the end of this on, fill that up with water. That's the pump. Pump until it builds up the right pressure, and then espresso pours out of the end of it. How easy is that? All right, let me just put this aside for a second so that I can go through the specifications for it. Uh, all of this is going to be in the video description, of course. So the overall height of this thing, let me see if I can get the cap back for it. There we go. All right, overall, it's 5.07 inches tall, which is 129 millimeters at its widest, I suppose not including the bump out here on the side where the piston is, 2.75 inches, uh, 170 millimeters. Its weight, 10.2 ounces, 290 grams, and it only makes 80 milliliters. That's not very much, I know, and, but it's, that's an espresso. Once again, I say that. It's an espresso, and they don't make a whole lot. 
If you're not a fan of tiny little coffees, either this device is not for you or make it and add a little hot water. That would be called an Americano. Then you can get a reasonable size amount of coffee out of, make, out of using this small device. All right, there's not a lot more to talk about. I think now we'll just show it in operation. All right, my water has come to a hard rolling boil. I previously loaded my Nespresso pod in the bottom of the device. I do have it sitting on that little... Uh, balancing device is probably the best way to say it. Now, this is the cup that you can make your little Nespresso in. It's a good little cup. It's nice to have. Uh, it, yeah, I've got something different. I've got a Christmas gift, something that was added to my Kapilka collection. Probably the last thing that Kapilka has made, at least so far. This is a shot glass, right? You wear it around your neck for having little shots. But uh, in fact, I'm going to have my coffee in that. And yes, that's all it pretty much holds is just that much. So one of the recommendations is preheat your coffee cup a little bit because there's so little water. You're not going to get, you know, it'll cool off really quickly. So I've filled this up. There's a fill line on the inside of this unit. And without my glasses on, let's see if I can line it up. There we go. Okay, now pour out my preheat water out of that. Now here's the thing, and the only real downside to this unit that I can see, other than gathering a few pine needles on the bottom, is it takes a fair amount of pumping. You're going to pump about three, maybe four times before the pressure breaks the foil on the bottom of that little Nespresso pod and starts to pour the uh, espresso coffee into the bottom of this. But then it can take 15, 20 pumps. Let's see. Don't be in too much of a rush. It's not the faster you pump it, the better it works. There, it just broke the seal. And you just keep pumping until you have no more water left. I know somebody will think this is a lot of work. Well, maybe. It's a bit of work. I won't, uh, I won't disagree with you. I'm just going to fill my little Kapilka shot glass. I think I over or underestimated how much coffee this makes. The good thing is I have the other one right next to me. That's it. All right, lay that device down. I want you to be able to see, hopefully you can see that. Can you see the crema on top of that? So that's a real espresso being made there. And yes, I've got a little bit left over in this one as well. Oh yeah, that makes a nice little espresso coffee. If I had used a larger cup, I could have poured a little hot water in on top of it and made myself an Americano just to get some extra volume. But sometimes just an espresso is a nice little thing to have. Uh, oh yeah. All right, let's close this video with a few more thoughts on the Wakeco Mini Presso NS2. And uh, let's start by addressing the elephant in the room, and that is the pods themselves, because I am sure there is longtime viewers who are saying, Mark, that's not very environmentally sound to make this dis and coffee using this disposable unit. And you're right. I absolutely agree with you. Uh, I have a reason for choosing this, and let me explain. If I was making coffee at home, uh, I would say this is environmentally not a good choice because you don't get a chance to take the coffee and compost it or dispose of it. And this is a one-use little capsule. There are reusable ones, and I'll come to that in a moment. But this is a one-use capsule that you'd be throwing in the garbage, essentially. Then why would I bring something like this out into the woods and actually uh, advocate for you to do that as a consideration? Well, let's start with this. Making espresso is a really fine process. It requires super finely ground coffee of a good quality, freshly roasted, freshly ground, measured to a very precise amount and matched up with a very precise amount of water. Uh, that's a lot of work for most people, especially out in the woods. Plus you need a device to make it with. What Keiko does make 
espresso pump devices like this one that use just ground coffee and not capsules like this. And uh, yeah, that would have been an alternative. And I may still try that out because it would be environmentally better. But it's just, it's a lot of work to get that, just the combination just right. This is so convenient. It makes the exact same cup of coffee, as long as you buy good Nespresso pods, that is. It makes the exact same cup of coffee every time. No guesswork, no weighing, no grinding, none of that. But yes, I got to take this home. And that is the key. And that's why I actually advocate for this for some people. Not everybody, because I know a lot of people will take their grounds home. But a lot of people don't. They will dump their coffee grounds on the ground out here in the wood. And I don't agree with that. I think that is environmentally the wrong thing to do. Now, somebody's crying foul and saying, Mark, it's not going to make any difference. Maybe once or twice. But if everybody does it all the time, it is not it. They say it's going to compost. Yeah, it will over time, but it is a foreign material being left behind in the woods. It doesn't belong here. It belongs in your compost or your garbage at home. Take it home. And that's where this comes in. If you want to make espresso out in the woods, but you want the convenience of a throwaway pod, at least this is something I think most people will pop into their uh, a little garbage bag of some type to take home and dispose of at home and not leave in the woods. At least that's my hope in advocating for these small capsules. Now, I mentioned there were reusable capsules, and I've sourced them. I just haven't purchased them yet. Uh, they're made of stainless steel. They look exactly like that. They have pre drilled or pre-made uh, holes in the end of it for the water to enter in and you have little peel and stick stickers that go on top of it to seal your coffee inside. Um, I will be getting some of those to try out with this unit because that will allow me to preload little capsules like this, bring them out, use them and take them home, refill them and not be throwing something like this away. So uh, that's why I wanted to address it. Now as far as making coffee, I think I've already covered this. It makes a nice little cup of coffee, provided you get good Nespresso pods. Um, that's what I'll, I'll say about that. You'll still do better if you want to take your time to grind your own coffee, roast your own coffee if you want, or buy fresh ground coffee made from a craft roaster and uh, measure it out and everything else. You can do better for espresso, there's no question. But you can't be more convenient than this, that's for sure. All right, that's my thoughts on the top of using the Mini Presso NS2 from Wakeco. Uh, there is another unit that I mentioned a minute ago that uses regular coffee. Maybe I'll reach out and see if they'll send me one of those. Um, this is small, compact. That's what it's all about. It's actually more intended for traveling than it is out in the woods. But it works, and that's the reason why I wanted to bring it to you. If you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments section below. All the information I have in terms of specifications, as well as the links to where you can take another look at this, will be in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore, and take that pathless travel, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.